Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Emily. I'm a mother of three beautiful boys, ages four, three, and almost two. And today I have a $400 grocery haul from Sam's Club. I'm gonna get right into it because I have to go pick up the boys from school and put them down for a nap soon. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started with the good stuff so you don't judge me for the rest of the stuff. And if you do judge me, do it silently. <laughs> All right, we have some blueberries. These were like $6 for how many? 18 ounces so I mean not a terrible price not the best price if you hear my dog barking in the background she's insane um we got some grapes these are these are the red seedless grapes sweet celebration variety we've never I don't think we've ever tried these ones but they say they're sweet so I know the boys will like them and if they don't I will and then we got some orange juice I think this is the what is it the, what is a pulp count here no pulp, okay, dope. So we got some orange juice, some cosmic apples, because in my opinion, they're better than honey crisp. Got some lettuce. Yes, we got some vegetables. Okay, okay. Sam's Club usually, I don't usually get the vegetables from Sam's Club. I usually get it throughout the week from like Publix or uh, what is another place called? Harris Teeter. But they had some good prices on some vegetables and fruits. So we got some from Sam's Club. Then always Big Mama Jamma right here. She is a necessity for my kids and for myself for, for easy breakfast. Next side, we got these chip box because my husband likes everything except for the Cheetos. So the kids will probably eat the Cheetos or I might just stick. These are for Brandon's lunches. So, you know, whatever he wants, I'll just throw in there. And then we got the Honey Nut Cheerios. The boys like to take that for school for snack and then they like it for breakfast once in a while. We got some of these pizza bagel bite things. They're like 10, seven, eight, nine. They're like $8 at Sam's Club. So we got one of these for a quick lunch. They already busted into these, but they're the veggie, hold on. They're the veggie puffs. If you have not tried these, try them. Your kids will probably, don't quote me, but your kids will probably definitely love these because my kids, all three of them love them. So definitely try. And then we got this long grain rice. We needed a lot of rice because we're out, but I've never had, I've never had part boiled rice. I don't really know the difference. It says it's never sticky, it says it's all that good stuff, but you know, I guess we'll see. I don't, is that like pre-boiled? It says part, I don't know. So we'll see. If you guys know what it actually means, let me know, but I have no idea. We got some, this is not like nastiness. It was just out in the rain because it was in the truck, but we got some uncured black forest ham. Got these mainly for the boys' lunches, but I'll also fix them for Brandon's lunches once in a while, which I do have a what's for lunch, what I fix my husband for lunch video coming out very, very soon. I already said the milk that, and we got some mixed vegetables for dinners. Got some more beef base. I usually get the, what is it called? Better than bullion? Is that what it's called? I usually get that, but this is like $4 for this big gigantic thing. So hopefully it tastes just as good as it. The price was got some mozzarella cheese for homemade pizzas and whatever else and then got some mexican blend cheese split these things in half throw half in the fridge throw half in the freezer freeze amazingly and i just remembered i forgot gallon sized bags so we got some zero sugar sparkling ice and the flavors black raspberry classic lemonade grape raspberry cherry limeade brandon will get the classic lemonade because i think it tastes terrible but the rest of them are mine and then Brandon got uh, some Sprite. I don't know. We're not supposed to be drinking soda, but it doesn't count for him, apparently. I have not been able to find a better price for chicken than at Sam's Club. It's $2.68 a pound for five pounds. It's $14. I literally cannot find a better price than at Sam's Club. They have the pre-frozen that I used to get, but I don't get that anymore because it's $3.28 a pound. And this just makes more sense. You just, you just put it in the freezer, separate it and put it in the freezer. <laughs> And um, I had someone comment on one of my last grocery hauls saying like she doesn't um, wash her meat or whatever. Um, first of all, mind your business. Second of all, I don't wash it before I package it. Why would I wash it before I package it? I mean, if you do, cool, but I don't. I wash it before I cook it because that makes more sense to me. But again, it's, it's no one's business. What you do in your kitchen, what you do in your kitchen, your business, what I do in my kitchen, my business. Okay. So anyways, got one of these chickens. Well, I got three of them. So this one was $18 for six and a half pounds or something like that. And then another one, cause I got three boys. I got lots of mouths to feed. And then my husband, which is like three more boys. So, so 
I gotta have a lot of meat to fill these people up. Bacon was a phenomenal price. It was $10 for three pounds of bacon, which I love the Members Mark bacon. It's great quality. It's not re irregular bacon, so it's not that much fat. And for that price, y'all, I had to get it. So turkey's still a little bit up there. This was $19 for five pounds, which it used to be like $15 for five pounds. So, you know, we're still in that higher price point, but still needed ground turkey. Got the boys some chicken nuggets, but well, my the boys and my husband some chicken nuggets. That's a favorite and something that I know that they'll actually eat because lunches have been a struggle with them. They don't want to eat any freaking thing that I make. So it's been great. And because they don't want to eat any freaking thing that I make, it stresses me out. And this is mine for chocolate. Hello, you are mine. I deserve you. It's stressing me out. <sighs> Got the boys some veggie straws. These are just a great snack all around. Don't know about what's in them. I just know they're better than chips, I think. Maybe, possibly. In my mind they are, so, cause they say veggie. Leave me alone. <laughs> my husband got some Doritos. These are his favorite kinds. Spicy sweet chili. Got some Tostitos for Nacho Night every single Wednesday. Cause we watch the challenge, the MTV, the challenge on Wednesday, so that's when we have nacho night. Got some golden crinkle french fries because they didn't have no freaking tater tots. I don't know what's going on. Is there a tater tot shortage? It's been like this for like a month and a half and I'm confused, frustrated, irritated. I want my tater tots. But yeah, we just got these boring ass french fries. Got some Rayo's homemade marinara because everyone says it's amazing and it was on instant savings. So I'm like, why not give it a whirl? It's still like $8 for the two of them, but it's better than the $10 it was. So I'm going to try it again. I've tried it before. I didn't think it was all that in a bag of chips, but I'm going to give it a try again. Got some tortillas because we run through it. Got some bread because we run through it. Got some spaghetti because we run through it. I use this for all sorts of stuff, like teriyaki chicken and noodles. I use it for that. Uh, anything really Asian noodle type of stuff, I use it for that. And then obviously spaghetti. Got some Cheez-Its for the boys' snacks. French bread for steak and cheese sandwiches. No beans chili, because I think beans are nasty. And which is weird, because the no beans is more expensive than the beans chili, but whatever. And then lastly, we got the boys some cookies because I'm such a sweet mom. Anyways, let me put this stuff up before I pass out from talking so fast. you 
do Every time you hold me, take me higher Tell me. <laughs> okay, so I have, I'm not gonna label them right now. I'll eventually label them, maybe. But I have this for chips and snacks and whatever. So I'm gonna put these in there because I don't like the box, these boxes don't fit in the pantry. And if they do, they're on the floor, and that just gets in my way and it irritates me. So, let's make it cute. Does anyone actually eat the Cheetos? Or. Containers. I think I'm gonna put like my husband's snacks for work in these. So he has like these nasty Vienna sausages. And like I don't really want to see them, so I'm gonna put them in these bins because you can't see what's in these bins unless you're looking from above. So I got those, and then he has these peanut butter crackers. And these shakes. I'm just trying to eliminate the boxes. Simple. This is from my last Sam's Co grocery haul where I just got a bunch of the Ritz crackers and I use those for tuna sandwich or tuna crackers and whatever or like his little brand or my husband's like lunchable thing these ones 
these are fine. These are from Aldi. They're fine. I have no qualms about them, but good enough. And this again is the last grocery haul. My husband hasn't finished them, so instead of being like a big old box that's taking up a ton of space, I'm just gonna put them in one of these. And I got these from Target. They were on sale for like four fifty each, like a couple weeks ago, so I got them. And then the boys' the juices. Which these are still from the last time we went to Sam's Club. They don't really like juice that much. I don't know why. Probably because of me, but. We still have space and then more boxes in my pantry. I'm just gonna put these muffins in. not always about being aesthetically pleasing, it's more about what makes sense and saving room in your freaking pantry. Holy crap. I forgot about these. I think that's the last thing that I have that's in individual packages though, so it should be good after this. And the rest of the stuff my husband's gonna put away like a darling, so I'm over it. I'm tired. I got some of these. Can you see my face? I got some of these because they were $15 for like eight pieces at Walmart. I've been looking for some new ones that don't require me to pop off the lid. So, and that are vacuum. So, hopefully, these work. So, I got my rice. Like I said, we never had this kind of rice, the parboiled. I don't know the difference. I don't know if it's like, if this is white rice, I didn't read it. We go through rice pretty quick, so I'm not worried about this going bad. I'll still like rinse it off prior to using it, but I'm not worried about actually having to like store it vacuum sealed. Cause like I said, we go through it pretty quickly. This is how it turned out and I am absolutely obsessed. It's not perfect, but it is functional and it'll work and that's what matters, so. All right guys, I am done for now. I'm tired. Brandon's gonna clean up this mess and I'm gonna go take a nap or something. I don't know, probably not take a nap, but probably like just sit down and relax because I've been doing this since like, for like two and a half hours, so I'm tired. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching my YouTube video and like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.